welcome to Mo's Dino Channel. Everything are dinosaur. Hello, Momo. We're gonna read the Spino. You're gonna have a new book today? Yeah. Read a new book today? What's, What's it called? called? It's called Dino Records. It's from National Geographic Kids. Wow, that looks very interesting and full of information yes, about spino. dinosaurs. Spino. And there we got on the on the cover we got the Spinosaurus. Yeah. The biggest carnivore. Yeah. Okay. Not the so Dino Records, they kind of, I guess the book is about Dino Records means what's the biggest dinosaur, what's the smallest dinosaur, what's the the fastest dinosaur, stuff like that. See, let's. let's sh so here's the, here are the topics of the book, right? So the first topic is the biggest dinosaur. Second one is the smallest dinosaur. And then who's the deadliest dinosaur? Do you know what deadliest means? It means like the most dangerous dinosaur. <clears throat> and then I got the weirdest dinosaur. That's funny, the weirdest dinosaur. The weirdest. And the most intriguing, that means the most interesting. And then we got the first dinosaur. And then the last chapter is prehistoric animals. Mm. Okay, so this is the world, how the world looked like, the earth looked like long time ago. See, it's totally different from what it looks today, right? Yeah. So here's the age of the dinosaurs. Remember the first age of dinosaurs? Yeah. Is okay. the Triassic. Here's then, the... Then the Isanosaurus. That's the Stegosaurus and... of Jurassic. T-Rex, yeah. So the Isanosaurus is part of the Triassic, which is the first, first period of dinosaurs. Yeah. When the dinosaurs were first born. Yeah. And then the second period of dinosaurs is the Jurassic, where the Stegosaurus and Allosaurus lived. And then the last period is the Cretaceous. This is where, like, T-Rex, Triceratops lived, right? Yeah. This is the period. I forgot someone to read with us. Oh yeah, bring some of your dinosaurs. Who's going to read with us today? Baryonyx. The Baryonyx. The Baryonyx is going to read the book with us. Welcome, Baryonyx. Well, so this are the first chapter talks about the biggest dinosaurs that roamed the earth. Uh, who is the biggest dinosaur? The winner is Titanosaur. So they say that Titanosaur is even bigger than the Argentinosaurs. Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. That's kind of strange. I always believed that the Argentinosaurus was the biggest one, but now we get something called the Titan Titanosaur, yeah. which is even bigger. Yeah. Of course, it's a herbivore, right? Of course. It used to live in South America, South so very close to Argentinosaurus. Remember, Argentinosaurus used to live where? Argentina. Argentina, which is in South America as well. So it's 70 tons. Whoa, that's heavy. That it's like... What, 10 buses? Like as heavy as 10 20, buses, school buses? or buses. Maybe 20, 20 or 30, 30 buses, yeah. And it's 37 meters of uh, length, so from well, here well, to here. Well, maybe oh, 30, 37. 25. What's 30, 25? Yeah. Maybe. And then his ah, height. I'm feeling it! His height is 20 meters. 20 meters. It's like 10. The one, maybe the like the very almost 10 stories high. What's up, Baryonyx? Focus on the book, please. Don't eat now. It's not it's not snack time now, Baryonyx. And the runner-up, so the next biggest dinosaurs, your friend the Argentinosaurus. That's the second biggest. Then we got the Futalongosaurus. It's a kind of weird name. Brachiosaurus. And then the Brachiosaurus. And dr the Dreadnoughts. Yeah, Dreadnoughtus. And more runner-ups. T-Rex versus Ankylosaurus. Yeah, T-Rex versus Ankylosaurus. So we got the big armored dinos, the Ankylosaurus, the biggest armored dino. And T-Rex, the, the high lizard king, the biggest. The biggest high lizard king. Okay, what do we have here? And that's a bird-like, the biggest bird-like wings. The biggest dino with bird-like wings is called Zhenhuan Long. And the biggest plated dino, which has like arm plates on top of its back, 
the Stegosaurus. And the Pachycephalus. And then the biggest dome skull dino, which is like a head butter. We got the... Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus, that's right. So we got non dino. The what? Okay. Yeah, the Velociraptor. It has feathers. It has feathers, right? It's like, I think it's it's kind of a bird. Or a raptor. A raptor. It's a feather. So there's some questions that the, the scientists or the paleontologists have not answered yet. Did the dinosaurs hunt by day or by night? By Did they have night. hot? Or cold blood? Are they cold blooded or hot blooded? Warm blooded like humans, right? How many dinosaurs were there? We don't know the exact number. How many dinosaurs lived? 300. <laughs> is not a big number, it's a small number. So we got some dino titans, like the biggest non dino. Like this. Can you say that again? Quetzalcoatlus! Quetzalcoatlus. That's the biggest bird. Like a, a pterodactyl and. Pteranodon, but this is the biggest one. Pteranodon. Monsters of the Mesozoic period. Monsters. Hmm. So we got some strange looking dinosaurs with some crests on their heads. Battle of the Brawn. Who is smarter? Mm. Or is who stronger actually? This Battle one. of the Brawn. This one. So which one is the Rio Jasosaurus versus Amagasaurus? I guess the Amagasaurus wins. And then the Pantaceratops versus Triceratops. The winner is Triceratops because it's bigger than the Pantaceratops. Who's the winner? The Utah Raptor or the Denonychus? The Utah Raptor wins because it's bigger than the Denonychus. Who's the winner? The Caron Caronosaurus or the Ma Mayasaurus? Uh, the Caronosaurus. Yeah. And who's bigger? The Tsintaosaurus versus Pachycephalosaurus? No. Tsintaosaurus wins. It's bigger. Head. It had a stronger head than the Pachycephalosaurus. Can you believe that? What? Yeah. They have the head bones. Now these are what? Yeah, another word for bone, dino bones uh, is starts with an F. Yes, with what starts with an F? Well, wait, Fossils. Two of them. Two. Or three F's. Look at the big crocs. Well, we got two anagers to play with us. Oh, welcome, Keratosaurus. We got the Baryonyx and the Keratosaurus joining us for the book. Hmm. Oh, interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. Very interesting. What else is there? Okay. This no. is a. Oh. The whipping, the one with the whipping tail, which is. Diplo. Yeah. Dokus. Diplodocus. That's the Diplodocus. Whipping. They say it used to grow, grow, and grow, and never stops growing until it dies. Yeah. Oh, stops. Okay, where's the next chapter? Okay. So, the smallest dinosaur this time. So, the first time we talked about the biggest dinosaurs, now we talk about the smallest dinosaur. I got, I got another one. You got another one, which is. T Rex. T Rex. Welcome, welcome T Rex. Welcome, Mommy T Rex. Okay, so the winner is the Microraptor. It's the smallest dinosaur. The smallest winner? Yeah. The winner? And the runner-up is... Parvicursor. Lesothorus. And the Compsognathus. Ooh, you know Compsognathus, yeah. right? It's one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. It was And then the Minmi. It looks like an Ankylosaurus, but it's very tiny. Compared to an Allosaurus. Minmi? Minmi. Minmi. Minmi-saurus? Just Minmi. <laughs> Not Minmi-saurus. Just Minmi. And then the smallest sauropods. They call the D-Long. 
That's the smallest tyrannosaur. Can you believe that? It's the cousin, the small cousin of the tyrannosaur. See that girl and has a lot of uh, dino fossils around her. Yeah. Is it that one? Like turtle, and that must be a cow. I don't know what it might maybe be a fish. You know what that is? That's a T-Rex, right? T-Rex! What does this one mean? That's a T-Rex, and that's uh... Um, a... Myungasaurus! Yeah, that's a my... And that is... Carnotaurus! Carnotaurus, yeah! And that's a stegosaurus. They say a stegosaurus has a very tiny brain. That means it was not smart, not very smart. Not very smart. Yeah. Okay. So you know that the we'll come back again. Yeah, we'll come back again after a small pause. We took a small break, a bio break. So that's a crow. Crow is very smart, and horse is also very smart. The mighty Massasaurus. Massaurus. It's called a Massaurus. This is a very a one of the very very old dinosaurs. A mighty it's, it's taking care of its little baby dinosaurs, right? It looks like, what? Uh, what does it look like? It looks like I don't know. It looks like what? Is it a herbivore or carnivore? Do you think? That's carnivore. Really? It's a carnivore? Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't say. So now they're talking about who's the fastest dinosaurs, like the, who's the faster, the Lesothorus or the Lanicus? Lanicus. Lesothorus. Who the who's faster, the Min Minmi or the Scatulosaurus? Um, the Minmi. The Scatulosaurus. Yes. <laughs> and who's the faster? Um, Archaeon. Yeah, Compsognathus versus. Scansori Tyrix. Yeah, thank God it's the Kamsuk Mouse. They cannot Come say the other name again. What's going up there, Momo? Come down here. We haven't finished yet. We're not done yet. So, this part you'll like. This talks about the deadliest dinosaur. Deadliest! Like, who's the deadliest dinosaur, do you think? Um, the most dangerous dinosaur. Who do you think is? Uh, and it's not the T Rex. No, not the Myungosaurus. The biggest diet carnivore, which is... Spino! The winner is Spinosaurus. It's the deadliest dinosaur deadliest carnivore, right? Dinosaur. He used to live in Africa. Yeah, in Egypt. Yeah. Egypt. Some people call them... Egypt. Yeah, the fossils were found there. Yeah. That's what called, they call them Spinosaurus Egypticus. Egypticus. We call it Spinosaurus. Yep. And the runner-up, the second, is the T-Rex, with the strongest bite. Oh, it's, it's not T-Rex, because it has big claws. Yeah, but they say it's T-Rex. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, you know. But, but you know why it's so, so dangerous? Because it has the strongest bite, even stronger than the Spinosaurus. Oh! Yeah. And then we got the Allosaurus, of course. The strongest bite. Yeah. But not, it's not just the biggest. Okay. Not biggest. And now we got the Allosaurus. Okay. Where is and it? And then we got the... Oh, the, here it is. Yeah. Here it is. What's Allosaurus. the hut thing? What's the... It might be Diplodocus, I think. Or Arsatito? Maybe. Yeah. And then we got the Deadly Raptor, which is the Utah Raptor, the biggest raptor. Who wins? Uh, the Utah Raptor, I guess. What is this one? And then the Masia Casaurus. Masia Casaurus. Man, these names are just too, <laughs> too difficult to pronounce. Some dinosaurs are just too difficult. More runner ups. You know what that one is? The biggest, the gi gi Gigantosaurus. Gigantosaurus. Or Gigantosaurus, whatever they want to call it. And then they got the Dinonychus with the sharp claws. Oh, uh, you know, raptors 
are deadly, right? Yeah, see, these are raptors. Are, they're hunting packs, right? They're, they're always deadly, hunting packs. Right? They're, they're deadly, right? They're deadly, yeah. They're deadly. Very deadly. And here are some dinosaurs who can defend Ooh. themselves very well. You got the ankylosaurus with the club tail, right? Yeah. And then you got the... Uh, Stegosaurus. Yeah, that's the Chemtrosaurus. It has <laughs> even more spikes than the Stegosaurus, right? And we have... And then the whipping tail, which is... Dip. Diplodocus! Yeah, you got it right. Diplodocus. And then you got and the horny got dinosaur. Triceratops! The one with the horns. Triceratops. What is this one? That's called Gastonia. No, just Gastonia. I don't know what that is. I guess that book is... We still have lots of way to go to the book. Say bye! Bye! Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.